Live from across Northern California, this is Good Day. You know what we need to start this Friday? What do we need, John? We need some aerial video <laughs> of the lovely city of Dixon. Well, you know what? You're in luck, because we have that. <laughs> Rose 13 was out there. Uh, these images show blue skies, mild temperature. I mean, this is Chamber of Commerce looking video here. From our John By the way, I turn my microphone on. <laughs> There's mild temperatures, dry conditions heading into the holiday weekend. It is a Friday. It is yeah. a long weekend for a lot of folks. Mm -hmm. Good morning, who? Glad hey, to have you here. Hey, thanks so much. Thanks so much. Got a few people out, so uh, hold down the fort with you today. You're stuck with me all morning. Well, Just can warned. you get us out the door? Uh, I can water? certainly try. <laughs> I can certainly try. All right, here's your first alert weather. We've got a live look for you this morning. I'm telling you, it's the unofficial start to summer, but it is going to be a fantastic weekend. Usually it's 90s or triple digits this weekend, but we are seeing no, none of that. None of that happen in Mother Nature. We appreciate you. There's a live look. You see the Ikea flag there blown in the wind, as Cody would say. That means you got to put the furniture together yourself. But a good look and start to the Memorial Day weekend. We'll let you know what's in store for the rest of the weekend ahead. That's coming up. Let's get you to your, or your headlines. Good morning, John. All right, who? Thank you very much. Well, the holiday travel rush is here. AAA says more than 42 million people are expected to travel for this holiday weekend. That's a 7% increase over last year. AAA says the vast majority, more than 37 million, are going to be driving. Nearly 3.5 million will fly. 1.9 million, though, are going to take other modes of transportation, buses, trains, things like that. AAA anticipates this Memorial Day weekend could be the busiest at airports since 2005. SAC International says it's expecting 100,000 travelers over the next five days, and they warn the parking lots are likely to fill up quickly and cause delays if you don't plan ahead. Be aware that you may not find a spot in the lot that you're used to parking in. We will have a spot for you if you choose to drive. AAA says road trips are also up 6% over last year. They say the increase is fueled in part by lower gas prices, pardon the pun. Latest numbers show the average price for a gallon of regular unleaded in California is 3.57. This time last year, it was almost 4.60 a gallon. Police in Davis are investigating two reports of men exposing themselves in public just days apart. Rachel Wolf is live in Davis with whether police believe those incidents are connected. Rachel. Well, it's a similar description for sure, but just slightly different. The key is getting enough people here to report these incidents and then verify through eyewitness reports and descriptions of who they are. But these two incidents have people on edge in this community. Police say they received a report of a man who was exposing himself while fondling himself outside an apartment in the 2400 block of Sycamore Lane, May 11th. The caller says she noticed a hooded figure at her front door and called police, but they did not find him that night. Nine days later, a woman claims while walking her dog on a bike path near Catalina Drive, she noticed a young man sitting on a bench with a phone in one hand and his genitals in the other. Just last month, CBS 13 reported how a peeping Tom kept visiting the home of a group of UC Davis students. Given the recent headlines, women say they've had to switch up their safety awareness. I keep awareness up, like I don't wear headphones when I bike, so I'm watching, but I might have someone on the phone so that they know where I am at all times. For the May 11th incident, the woman described the man as having light complexion in his late 20s, 5 foot 8 and weighing 150 pounds. As for the May 20th incident, the woman described the man as having a tan complexion, 20 to 22 years old, between 5 foot 7 and 5 9, brown medium length curly hair and an average build. So again, those are the descriptions. If you know anybody that fits that description or if you see somebody acting shady, suspicious, odd, if you will, that's where you need to call police and let them know, given the recent string of events that have happened here in Davis. Okay, Rachel, thank you very much. Appreciate that. There is hope this morning that the White House and Republican lawmakers could reach a deal soon on raising the nation's debt limit. CBS News has learned the potential deal would increase the limit and also cap federal spending at 2023 levels for two years. Spending on defense and veterans programs, though, would increase in 2024 while non-discretionary spending on things like education and health care would decrease. 
The proposal would also slash some of the funding that Congress approved last year to beef up the modernization of the IRS.